Hey, what is up, guys? We are here on NBA 2K22. Wasn't exactly sure if I was going to make anything for this game, but alas, here we are. And I have to say, um, I'm pretty excited to get in here and start making some my NBA, or maybe we're gonna do some my career, or my team, my career, my team. Who knows? The mode that wants you to spend lots of money. Are we gonna spend lots of money on the game? Are we? Well, no, not because I already bought the game for sixty nine ninety nine, <laughs> which you know, I really hate this price increase that we we've gotten on next gen. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense. I'm buying it digital, so. My initial plan was to do a traditional expansion franchise. You know, I like doing the expansion and drafting and stuff like that. I was going to do that. Um, despite the fact it seems like you still lose a lot of presentation elements in the actual game if you do an expansion. For whatever reason, you don't get like all the like normal like introduction graphics and stuff. But um, I was going to do that, and then all of a sudden when I was trying to bring the team into the game, it like hard locked my console. And I was like sort of freaked out because like it wasn't starting back up. So it, it did eventually, you see this no signal thing. Uh, I was like, oh, this is not good. Console did start up, PS5 is good to go. So I'm going to have to pivot here. I'm going to have to pivot. And we are going to have to do a relocation instead. Which, you know what, is actually fine. I actually um, like relocation a little bit more. So we're going to go with relocation instead of expansion. Maybe we'll look at expansion down the line. Maybe if they fix whatever that issue was. I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to mess around with it. I'm not trying to break a PS5. They're expensive. I don't know if you've heard this, but they cost money, a lot of money, and uh, there's not a lot of money right now for people. So, uh, if you can respect that decision. Turning off the G League, I don't want to deal with the G League. I don't want to deal with the G League. So, who is getting relocated? Well, it's going to be a surprise. Not, well, it's not going to be a surprise. It's going to be a bit of a shock to you. It's going to be the Portland Trail Blazers. That's right. We are relocating the Portland Trail Blazers from Portland. Why? Because I don't know. Portland's a mess. Maybe it's it's disgusting, but we're not gonna we're gonna stay within the Pacific Northwest. But we're gonna be crossing the border over into Canada, Vancouver. You have an NBA team again. At least you have an NBA team in my my in my in my my NBA and NBA two K twenty two, the Vancouver Foresters. I think that's for chopping down trees, right? The forestry industry. It must be big up in Vancouver, I'm assuming. So we have... This is a really cool logo, honestly. Shout out to whoever made this. Uh, just awesome. Christmas colors. So there we go. The Vancouver Foresters. And this is pretty cool. So... What is the state of this team? But well, we have to look at the staff. What was one of the big features that was, you know, um, added to my MBA this year? It was the My Staff feature. And so we're going to have to, you know, do all this stuff here. And just, I want to check this out. Sign all the different, like, uh, staff that they have. Um, you know, honestly, when I first saw this feature, I... I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 100 frank with you guys. I was actually not as hyped on this, and I don't think I still am necessarily. We'll see if this does anything, but it, it's it's really interesting. Scott Brooks says I my shot doctor. Um, Steve Hetzel as our post defensive coach. So there's all this other stuff here. Our head coach. So there's no more like assistant coach. I don't think. I think these guys sort of just take that up i think it's really just like expanded out assistant coaches now like instead of just having one assistant coach that does all the stuff it's now been broken down into a couple different things we have our trainer or team doctor i think i'm not 100 sure how this is all done exactly 
But uh, we are going to hire a domestic scout just to have another one. I think that's a good one to have. And uh, we are going to hire Nathan uh, Toscano. He's a sleuth, able to quickly report back on low uh, potential players, I believe that said. So we're going to hire one of these guys, Nathan Toscano. And then we're going to go to our um, sports medicine. And we're going to get a couple people hired here. And we're going to go with uh, Physio. I believe that's what that says. Physio. 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 Pretty sure it's Physio. I, I wish they would uh, sort of bracket this a little bit better so I'm actually higher. Like, I just see Physio people instead of uh, everyone else. So I can hire someone who... Sh I, don't, I don't even know if this matters exactly. That's the fun of it. We're all going to find out together if this stuff matters as much as they claimed it mattered. Um, that's going to be the fun of this uh, stuff. So, like I said, I don't know what any of this stuff means. Uh, everyone looks like they suck, so I don't know if I... For Physio, do I, I don't know what exactly I'm looking for here. Do I want someone that, that's just sports medicine rating or something? Like, I don't... I have no idea what you're looking for in these positions. Uh, it's never really explained unless I completely missed it because I didn't feel like reading. Um... So I'm just looking through these people. I'm just like, I don't know who to hire. It's not like it's, there's so many great candidates. It's like, I don't know what a good candidate is. Um, so I'm just going to go with who has the most badges. Who has, does someone like have like three badges or something? And uh, this guy has one badge. These guys don't have any badges, so they must be bad. This person has three badges. Chinny Ryder. It's a lady. Sorry for messing with your ears. Um, she has good charisma. And she, and she has three badges. And she has organization, sports, medicine. So we're going to offer her a contract. And uh, yeah. So she gets a bunch of money. I have no idea if I just gave that person too much money or not. And then we're, we go to hire a... I thought I was hiring a strength guy. But I'm hiring a, a, a supposedly a sleep doctor, so I don't I don't know if that makes it work. I don't know, but he looks like a good candidate either way. So uh, I guess we don't need a sleep doctor now because he's doing our strength stuff. So maybe we're all gonna get weak or something. I don't really know. We'll see if we'll see if this stuff even matters. I question if it does, but we'll see. Now the roster it is just the Portland Trailblazers roster. We're not gonna make any big moves here. Um, CJ McCollum, Damian Lillard, both over the age of 30. Yusuf Nurkic. He's a guy. And Cody Zeller, who looks like an old man. Looks like he should be a coach. But a lot of the key players on this team are, you know, this is a pretty old team. And my guess is, if we're going to be honest, this is a one-year thing here. Um, this is going to be a team that's probably going to make a run for it gonna make a run for a championship and if it doesn't work out it's probably gonna get blown up so i think that'll be kind of interesting it's a sort of a win now thing and then it's also a potential tear down and rebuild thing um damian lillard three years left on the deal takes him probably to his age 34 season if i'm correct so we're gonna open up the season against the sacramento kings or as the rock would call him and shaquille o'neal the sacramento queens Sorry to any Kings fans out there. But we're going to look at the free agents real quick simply because I want to see something. And yes, turning off the G League, we don't get King of the Fourth Quarter legend Trent Franklin. Um, so he's not here because there's no G League technically. So we don't have to deal with any of, of those guys. Even though none of them get signed, I did start up like a mock My League thing and those guys just it makes it impossible to look through the My League thing. I remember, if you guys remember in our Charlotte Hornet series, we signed one of the G League guys, I and he was like a really good shooter. So he was like a key part of our team. So, but this year they just went overboard with them. They're all beasts and stuff. So we're going to start the season taking on De'Aaron Fox and the Sacramento Kings. It's sort of interesting. The Kings are sort of like looking at a mirror future version of themselves with how their roster is constru constructed with De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton. Sort of mirroring Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum and still sort of looking for that third piece that would be that third guy 
you assume it'll be Marvin Bagley, but we'll see. He's only a 78 overall, while other players in his draft class have done a lot. Well, he's really done nothing, but we'll see how he plays in this game. First episode is going to be in the books here, so I want to thank you guys for watching this. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. More NBA 2K22 content on the way, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.